Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I know I haven't done one of these like in quite some time, but I got a new product for the Game Boy Advance SP. It's a little amplifier for the original speaker. Uh, the way this works is, you know, it amplifies the sound. It's also controlled by the volume, so when it actually you lower the volume really low it'll actually shut off the speaker you get no silence I mean you get total silence so you don't have any interference coming through the speaker when there, even when there's no sound also have a, a capacitor here that actually filters the audio and none of the amps as far as I know that are out there doing this what this does is actually cleans a lot of the sound coming through before it gets amplified so it sounds a hell of a lot better with the capacitor here filtering the audio than it does without it. So I'm going to give you guys a little test run of this so you can see how it sounds stock audio. This is max max volume right here. As you can see that is super low. Now we're going to install the amp and we're going to see the difference. So for the AGS001, which is this one here, you can tell easily by looking at the back. It'll say right there, AGS001, or when you open it up, you have all these components here on the left. The AGS 101 it does not have this chip uh, I believe this one's not here as well it's it's more bare and because of the difference here uh, you will have to use a one single wire for the ground for the amplifier board on this one we're going to be using these capacitors here uh, but since the AGS 101 does not have these capacitors or much of the circuitry we will have to use an alternate point. I'm going to put the image up on the screen where you need to actually scrape a little bit of the green uh, coating on the PCB, the solder mask, and then you can just solder a wire from the ground point, which is this one here in the corner, uh, to the the area that's gonna we're gonna expose the copper by scraping the the green coating. It's not really hard to do. You can just use a utility knife or even like a flathead screwdriver. I'll use this area here to showcase how it's done. It's pretty simple. That's all you really need is just a, a little bit of the copper showing that's it and you can actually solder add solder to that and then solder the wire this is just bare copper if you have flux be sure to use that that's super super useful makes the job much easier when soldering to like exposed copper like this a big a big uh, ground plane <clears throat> so all the other points are the same the volume, I'm going to try to point this out with something so it's easy to, to see. Also going to have a picture with the, the points so it's a little easier to see. So the second test pad right here, the VOL, which is for the volume, that's the one we're going to be adding solder to. Also, down here you'll see SP which is the second from the, the bottom here, SP. Over here, VCC is our other point. And both of these are tied to ground on top, so it doesn't really matter if you, if you bridge both. Or we're, just gonna be, we're gonna be soldering to one of these, or both, of the capacitors. So the easiest way to do this first is to add solder to these points this way. 
it'll be easier to just heat up the, the pads on the flex PCB and everything will just go into place. All right. Start with the VCC first. Just add the solder to it. So it's just a little ball there. SP next. Volume last. You can add some solder here already if you want. It doesn't really matter. We're going to be tacking that next. So line everything up. Make sure the volume and the SP fall in line. I'm doing this on camera so it's kind of hard. I got lighting and cameras in my face. So I'm gonna just take it off camera for a sec so I can get it lined up. Okay, so I got the volume set up over there. The SP is lining up. I'm just gonna do this one first. So since we already added the solder, I'm just heating it up. And that tacked it down. As you can see, it's not even moving. <clears throat> Next is the SP. This one, because there's some components underneath, you can see it kind of moves a little bit. You'll have to put a little bit of pressure yourself down. I wonder if the cable, if the board flexes. This is why it's a flex PCB. You can add a little bit more solder. I always like to keep things nice and filled with, with solder so it's a solid connection okay next you can do the VCC you can add some solder to the, the pad here that's down now the ground that looks connected to me and that's all there is to it now we're gonna test out the speaker max volume as you can see it's a huge huge difference in sound And when you lower it, you can actually hear the amp kick out. That little click there, that's the amplifier being turned completely off so you hear totally no noise. So, as you can see, it's, it's real simple to do. One, two, three, four test points, that's it. On the AGS-101, you're going to have to scrape the, an area more or less in line with what these capacitors are, as I've shown here and just solder a wire to this little point. Right here. And just solder the wire from there into the area where we're going to be scraping. Unfortunately, I don't have one of these motherboards, so I can't show you how to do it, but it's super simple. If you've ever done any kinds of mods or any kind of soldering, it's just one wire from here to there. That's all it is. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed the stamp.